Hey guys, welcome back to Pat Max Adventures. I am Patrick. Today I'm gonna to take you guys on a tour of my Airbnb here in La Fortuna, Costa Rica. And by the way, how loud are the bugs here? The bugs here are so loud. It's currently 8 a.m. in the morning and they are still going crazy. I have to say, I think I have gotten the best Airbnb in La Fortuna and you guys are about to find out why. So to enter the Airbnb, it's located behind behind a little business building. So there's this nice little wooden path. There's a stream down there, which is where all the bugs are. A nice open garden area down here. In front of me are trash cans. So this is where you can put your trash, plastic, paper, aluminum. I love how they recycle here in Costa Rica. Here is a gym, which is open to everyone here in the units. You can do your cool downs for your back, do some chest. You can also do some biceps, do some other things with this. All the units are up here. So there's one, two, three, four units. This is the yard area. I think it's so beautiful. So you can see the sun coming through. You can hear the birds. There's another building over there. Right through the plants there, you can see the stream kind of sparkling through. Here it is, guys. Let's start with the kitchen. So here I have an oven and I've got a burner, a hot stove, which is really great if you want to bake anything. You've got the oven. You've got a nice view of the garden right there. I love the garden. There's a blender, microwave, knives. Uh, forks and knives, spoons, everything is here. Nice large sink. Got my water, coffee maker, rice cooker, and this is like an oven toaster. And here is what makes this apartment so amazing. I will show you guys everything else in a minute, but I've got to show you the view. Look at this view, guys. This is a volcano. It's called the Arenal Volcano. And to the left is another volcano. This volcano, I believe, is called the Chato Volcano. There are two volcanoes here. So I can just sit here and relax and look at these volcanoes. It's amazing. I believe this volcano, Arenal Volcano, I believe it's around 1,600 feet, somewhere around there. I've also got a patio here, so I'll open this up to show you guys. Amazing. I've got two chairs here. Got a little table, two more chairs, and just this beautiful view of the volcanoes. This is a road here, and it goes right into the town of La Fortuna. There's a little bridge, and then right over the bridge there are restaurants, tourist offices, everything is there. There's also a fire station right across the street. And there's the neighbor's dog looking at me like I'm crazy. Hola, buenos dias. <laughs> and then there's another neighbor there. This view though is incredible. And today is such a beautiful blue day. You see the cloud just circling the tip of the volcano. So cool. I could just sit out here and drink some tea, eat, drink some coffee, eat some lunch while looking at the volcano. I mean, th this view is priceless. And this is what the apartment looks like from the patio. So there is a fan here, little couch, two chairs, TV that comes with Netflix and Hulu. There is my workstation that you guys see in every Airbnb accommodation tour. So I've got my chair, my pillow, this is my beauty light, and then I've also got my iPad here. I, yes, Pat Max Adventure sticker right there. I just finished work. My computer, Pat Max Adventures. Uh, this is Bobo, hello. <laughs> and this is Bob, hello. Kids love them, they're my little characters. Here's the refrigerator. Nice large refrigerator. 
It's got a lot of space. You can also fill it up with water as well and just get your water from here. There's a lot of space under the sink that's pretty much empty. <laughs> Some more pots and pans there. This area is pretty open and empty. Some gloves, little trash can, light bulbs it looks like. I just cannot get over this view. I can just sit here, work on my computer, and look at the volcano. So there are two bedrooms in this apartment and one bathroom. This is the room I'm using right now. There's another fan right here. Sorry about all the wires. I'm charging my phone. This is the life of a digital nomad. <laughs> there is a double bed here and there's also a bunk bed. This apartment is great for families. Nightstand. I can open this up so you guys can see. There's another view of the garden right in front. They have a huge hammock. That hammock looks so comfortable. Then I have my bags and all my clothes here. I have a shirt hanging. Great place to put my stuff. There's also a full mirror. One thing that's interesting is look at the ceilings, guys. The ceilings are crazy high and you can see that it doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling. So the walls here don't connect to the ceiling. I'll show you guys over here as well. Here is the bathroom, pretty basic. A little area for me to put all my toiletries, sink, toilet, and nice big shower. I just took a shower, so I'm drying the towel there. And here is the second bedroom that also has a bunk bed. Again, this would be so fantastic for families and if you had kids. Another plant here. And then there are steps to go up to the top bunk here. And I just noticed that these are actually drawers. So you could store your luggage, well not your luggage, but your clothes and things there. And again, you've got the beautiful view of the Aranal volcano and the Chato volcano right there. Imagine sleeping up here on the top bunk and waking up and looking out to this view. There's also an air conditioner this is the only air conditioner for the whole apartment. Again, you can see how tall the ceilings are. I've had the air conditioner on in the evening and at night, and it does cool this whole apartment. As large as this apartment is, and as high as the ceilings are, that air conditioner, after a few hours, it really does make the whole apartment cooler. But La Fortuna is pretty cool. It's a lot cooler than the Pacific Coast where I came from. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I've always wanted to do a jump into a chair scene. <laughs> I'm so weird. So what do you guys think? What do you think of this apartment? I think this is incredible. The view is spectacular. I'm three minutes from the town of La Fortuna. It's right here. Restaurants, grocery stores, barber shop everything that you need, tourist shops, everything is right here. So I know a lot of people are gonna be wondering, what is the price? What is the price, right? That's always the question of what is the price? You guys will not believe the price I got for this place. For two weeks here in La Fortuna, for 14 nights, the total came out to $280. That comes out to $20 a night. For this whole place to myself this is why you come to la fortuna to see the volcanoes and of course the waterfalls and the jungles and the treks but you want to get a good view of the volcano and bam i'm right in front of it and i couldn't have asked for a better view and to have the patio as well this has been such a deal i know some people might be wondering about the noise because it is along one of the main roads here in la fortuna in the morning you do hear a lot of cars going by motorcycles motorbikes that's one reason why i decided to sleep in the bathroom here because i don't hear any noise at night or in the morning i'm I'm working, but this room over here, I would think maybe you would hear some of the noise on the street, so that would probably be a place that you would wanna sleep if you're more of a deep sleeper. But again, this would be a fantastic apartment for a family. You've got two bunk beds, that's four, and then you've got the double bed, so you can fit two people there, that's six people. You can fit six people in this apartment. It's, it's so great. And one secret that I actually haven't shared with you guys is about my work. So I've been teaching online for almost three years now and prior to that I was working for three years 
as a teacher in South Korea. So ever since I moved to online teaching, when I was living in Asia, I was working 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. my time in Asia, that's about six hours. But now I'm in Central America, I'm in the Americas, right? But I still have to be on Asia's time. Do you know what time I get up to work? 2.30. I wake up at 2.30 and I work from 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. And I love it. And it's totally working. And that was part of the sacrifice with coming to Central America and leaving Asia is that I have to be on Asia's time. My students are in China, Japan, and South Korea. So I've got to be on their time. And I know some people are like, that is crazy. How are you waking up at 2.30 in the morning? Actually, I go to bed at 7 p.m. Everything here kind of quiets down anyway at 7 p.m. So it's like, what am I really going to be doing? I'm not a drinker. I'm not a big clubber anymore. So it's, it's actually worked out really well. And I've really adjusted to it. And I love just finishing the morning at 8 a.m. and just being awake and ready to start my day. And with this view, my last three classes, my last hour and a half of teaching, I open the blinds with this view and it's just such a beautiful hour or hour and a half of teaching. And I know that sounds silly, but it's true to just sit here with this light and this view and just the energy that I get from it. And I just, I just am so happy that I found this place and it's worked out great. So what do you guys think? What do you think about this apartment? What do you think about the price and the location and everything you've seen? I, to me, I think it's a fantastic deal. I couldn't have found a better place here in La Fortuna than this place, I think. Thanks again for watching, guys. Let me know what you think down below. And remember to live every moment to the max. I'll see you guys next time.